Hey everybody, I'm Matt Beer, and we are here in beautiful Whistler for the second day of the bike park opening. Now, due to some spring snow late in the year, things are running a little bit slower and muddier, but that means that the tech trails are running really hot right now. So we're gonna go team up with some young local talent and show you the fast lines down through the wet rocks and roots. Okay, so we're up top and you can see all the mud and snow that's around. I've got my buddy Dylan, his friend Callum, Zach, and Avon, we're gonna take a lap down Schleyer to Rock City and show you the good lines on those trails. Okay, so right out of the gate, our first little move is a blind shark fin jump onto this really precarious rock and root cluster. It's very bumpy, really blind, and goes into a shadow, so all these sniper wet roots are really hard to see and you have to carry some speed out of it as well. Oh yeah, Casmer! Smooth, smooth guy. Okay, so we just got through that really tricky bit that's hard to carry speed through, and then you quickly arrive at this drop into a bunch of braking bumps, followed by an S corner. It's really hard to shut it down for. Okay, so we're here at the infamous Schleyer Rock Garden. Now this has a lot of different options, but either way, it's really tricky because you come into this really dark forest littered with rocks. And the main line is pretty obvious down the guts, but then you smash into these holes at the bottom. So we're gonna try and find some smoother ways around. Okay, so we're standing on top of Heckler's Rock, behind the fence this time, but we're about to duck down into Schleyer further. Now this is a cool little hip jump, you can take it a little bit wider, puts you straighter into the woods, makes the braking easier, or you can ride a lower line and just kind of have fun going down this cool rock. Okay, so we're back in the woods and we found a really slippery section of off-camera rock followed by a bunch of tree roots. Now the old line here used to be to come in and wall ride above those roots and then exit nice and clean. That's getting chipped away and there's not a lot of fresh dirt anymore. So we're gonna try a couple different options here and see which one spits us out the fastest. All right, thanks to these super fast young dudes, we just took you through a couple options, how to get through some wet roots and rocks. These guys are itching to get some more laps in, so we're gonna set them free and grab some lunch and then regroup and see who else we can find to show us some cool lines. Thanks for hanging. Okay, so we're back for our afternoon lap. We've got Bailey and Julia joining us. We're gonna head down fade to black and then continue on through a little bit of Ninja Cougar Karate Monkey, and then lower down, we're gonna check out some spicy section of Tech Noir. Okay, looks like Fade to Black has suffered a bit of water damage after yesterday. So that's closed, but we found a cool piece of trail here on Ninja Cougar that has quite a bit of tech in it. There isn't really another line to get around these braking bumps, and then you've gotta go over some rocks as you set up into the turn. So it's really important to shut it down here. Enter that turn smooth, carry your speed out. Okay, so we just moved down the trail a little bit further and then came across this big 180 bull corner. Now it looks fairly simple because there's lots of support, but there's a lot of slippery stuff coming in. So it's best to get your braking done early, not overcook it, set up high and then carry a nice good bit of speed through the corner confidently. Okay, so we moved down to Afternoon Delight. That's a black tech trail. So there's lots of little rocks and roots, pretty tight trail corridor. And then looking back up the trail, there's one small rock drop leading into this kind of chattery section. It's 
pretty easy to get offline in this bottom turn. This thing is filled with rocks pointing in every direction. So you want to get your braking done early, lean in a little bit, and let those tires hook up through the turn. I'm standing here on top of some classic Whistler bike park roots. These things are polished, they are white. There's no bark left on them whatsoever. Now the main line is kind of the way to go, following the water. Just kind of have to enter slowly, take your time, let the brakes off when you get through to the bottom. Okay, so the main line works really well here. It's pretty tight, so it doesn't make a huge bit of difference, but Julia actually spotted a nice cheeky line. If you come just outside of this route, it gives you a little bit more time to open up the turn and set the bike up for the next one. And you can really punch out of that last corner. Okay, so we're here on one of the last features of Tech Noir. As you can see, it looks like a nice smooth rock face, but then at the bottom it gets mega chunky. So what you want to do is control your speed at the top and come in as slow as you need to because you're only going to pick up speed at the bottom. Once you get down here, you're going to want to point a little bit over to the left. You end up on the right, you get stuck in this trap near this greasy root that's just going to pull you right into the tree. Well, ladies, thanks for joining, keeping everything in control, showing us how it's done on the tech. Those are some slippery trails out there. Gonna let you two take off and get some quality laps in. Thanks for joining.